votes for a fantastic uh, weekend here at the draft from the uh, Amherst Ramblers organization. And uh, I'd like to introduce our, our new head coach and general manager, uh, no secret or no uh, stranger to anybody in our league, Mr. Jim Bottomley. On behalf of the uh, Amherst Ramblers, I would also like to uh, congratulate Gord Dwyer for his uh, great promotion. A great uh, friend and former coach and player, Troy Ryan, for uh, stepping up also. And to Summerside Western Capitals for a great year and winning the uh, Kent Cup. The Amherst Ramblers selected the first pick, Tessie McGinnis from Cape Breton West. So the, uh, the third overall pick uh, going to the Amherst Ramblers. I didn't quite catch the name there, but uh, Jesse, oh, there it is there, Jesse McInnes. <laughs> I, I, I guess, Spelt I guess, it wrong. The name's McInnes, he might be, he might be all right if coming off the Cape Breton Island playing hockey. Yet. But uh, in any event, we're going to go over to Will, and uh, here's Will with Jim Bottomley, the GM of the Amherst Ramblers. Well, Jim Bottomley, uh, Jesse McGinnis, uh, Cape Breton boy, your third overall pick. Um, basically what uh, what's the uh, reasoning behind the pick and uh, where do you expect Jesse to fit in uh, coming off into camp in uh, September well Jesse's a big power forward strong skater strong on the puck uh, big hard winger that plays hard every night unfortunately uh, ran into injuries he's selected to uh, go into Quebec and uh, that's his first choice and I hope he does well but if not uh, we certainly got a place for him in our in our uh, hockey club It'd be a big addition and uh, of course, Jim, uh, your your first day, quote unquote, on the job, so to speak, here with the draft, with the Amherst Ramblers. You've been around for a lot of years. Uh, based on what you've seen so far and what's coming back with this Ramblers team that almost made the playoffs last year, uh, factoring in guys like McGinnis coming in and uh, your key additions, your key losses, where do you expect this team to land at the end of the season? We're uh, we're going to be very competitive. Uh, we want to be in the mix. Uh, we want to be in the finals. So we're putting a competitive team together that has a chance to win. Uh, I think the fans in Amherst deserve that. Uh, the last couple of years they haven't had a chance to have the playoffs and just know what they have in Amherst and the, the, uh, the fan support they have. I'm going to put a winner in that hockey club. We're going to be similar to the Boston, uh, Boston Bruins style and uh, be ready to come to our rink. All right, well, Amherst always has the home ice advantage, that's for sure. Thanks very much, Jim, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you very much. You know, Jim Bott... Jim Bottomley says uh, the Boston Bruins and, and Craig, Craig Eagle's ears here perk up like a little puppy's. <laughs> oh, my jeepers. Uh, but uh, anyways, Jesse McInnes um, being the third overall pick going to the Amherst Ramblers. Uh, was drafted in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League by the Ramouski Oceanic, 151st overall. But uh, again, this is one of these uh, one of these guys uh, that you see being picked in the queue that go high in the, uh, in the Maritime Hockey League draft. Yeah, he's another one of those guys that has an outside shot of uh, making remote but if he doesn't, he will be an excellent Maritime Hockey League player. And so the uh, the third overall pick uh, going to the going to uh, the, uh, the, the the Lumberjacks down there in Bridgewater. And uh, you know what do we expect here uh, coming out of uh, out of the uh, fourth pick here? 